Is that her daughter? Yes. So how old was she when she died? Eight. God, I can't even imagine. Neither could we. Did you know Monica asked about her when she was dying? No, I didn't. Yeah, like, I think she was confused. Like, I think she thought I was her daughter for a minute. And then she kept asking me to call her, like, to tell her what happened, you know? Like, she didn't remember she was dead. But then it got confusing, because I said, sure, what's her name? And she said, Lisa. And I said, no, that's my name. I, I didn't realize we had the same name. Then when I found out her daughter was dead, ever since then, I've kind of ha had this really strange feeling that in some way, for those last five minutes, I kind of was her daughter. You know, like, in some weird way, this obviously amazing woman got to be with her daughter again for a few minutes right before she died. And is she still in habit in your body? Or did she go right back to the spirit world right after it was over? I didn't literally mean she was inhabiting my body. I don't believe in all that stuff at all. I don't give a fuck what you believe in. Oh my god, why are you so mad at me? Because this is not an opera. What? I said this is not an opera. You think I think this is an opera? Yes. Why, because I think it's dramatic? Because you are very young. What does that have to do with anything? It means you care easier. There's a big difference. Only it's not you that it's happening to. Yes, it is. I know I'm not the one that got run over by a bus, but... Right? You weren't. And you are not the one who died of leukemia. And you are not the one who got killed in an earthquake in Nigeria. But you will be. Do you understand me? You will be. I'm well aware of that. And this guilt of yours is worth nothing. Do you understand? It's not worth anything. And this trial will be over in a month or two. And when you get older and you don't have a big reaction every time a dog's run over, then we will find out what kind of person you are. I'm sorry. I didn't start this conversation and I don't play games. I'm not playing games. This is my life that you are talking about. My real friend who got killed, who I'm never going to see again, who I've known since I was 12. And I don't want that sucked into some fucking teenager self-dramatization. I'm not fucking dramatizing anything. I was there and you weren't. And I'm sorry, Emily, if I seem to over-dramatize things. That's just the way I talk. Why are you being so fucking strident? Strident? Yes, strident. Okay. You should leave. Why? Because I called you strident? Yes! You should leave. Okay, well, let me get my bag. Now.